Manufacturing. This is Brad Hunky with Hunky Manufacturing. He's one of the family here. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Now, what is so good about what is this rig now? This, this is our S6T model. Okay. Uh, this one is going to California. Okay. With, for the industrial pump. This rig is uh, set up with simultaneous uh, tail out and mainline functions all in one. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the biggest benefit to this rig is, is being able to pull in our capacity zone, which is off the rear. So backing up to a hole isn't necessarily a problem. Right. As long as you're close, right. you can set up and go. Oh, that, that's, that's just beautiful. Um, okay. And a lot of open deck. Look at this. Yes. This, this unit here, uh, this guy chose not to have the two side packs. Normally we do, we have two side packs, one right, on each side. Right. Uh, this is also the first S6 or S3 that we've done a deck engine with to where this one. Really? What, yes. what engine are you using on this? This is a Kubota 44 horse. Uh, this is kind of a newer model that Kubota just kind of came out with. Okay. And they were running Does it a, have def? No. This it doesn't does have, have def. It falls underneath that below the 49 oh. or 50 so see this is stuff that nobody would know yes okay and this s6 model you have to put it on uh it's, i believe it's the commercial line so no f550s it has to go on the 750 fords or right. a right. smaller piece. so this is a cdl truck which is fine no this one's not this is not a cdl no, truck this is a hydraulic brake system this is a gas burner engine 734 really yep yep that's fantastic. So, uh, back here on our turntable, you can kind of see we have all of our manual controls here with yes. our manifold block. Yes. Um, once again, we got a tail out motor, which come, is our R2 model motor. And we have a two speed uh, Proclaim motor uh -huh. running our main line. Okay. Um, oh, that's awesome. Everything's run through the remote besides the oh, jacks. Oh, see, look, 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 look. See, this is the way I've built my weight blocks yep. for years. And because that's the, the stupid round ball thing. I mean, really? The little weight above the mainline weight there, that's uh -huh. our anti-two system. So when the, when the uh, weight hits into that anti-two system, that'll shut you off. Ah. As well as our... Uh, we have a mass pressure shut off. This anti two system is really set up to where if that anti two is not met or you have too much load, you got to reposition. It's 6,000 pounds, single line, 12,000 pounds, double line at 10 feet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me stand back here and just kind of uh, get this. We keep talking. This I, model's I a little bit, this model's a little bit cool. This guy chose, he's got a uh, front slide which our normal base units only have a rear slide on the driver's side. It slides out about roughly five, six feet. <laughs> so this will come out. He's so, got more stability. We got jacks for all four, all the way, all the way around. Um, very nice. Yep. Very nice. So um, oil cooler system, everything's ran through a temperature transducer in the cooler. Hits 140. 140, 145 degrees, oil cooler will turn on on its own, or we have a manual switch in the back to, if you're gonna bail, as we do, we offer a sand line option, main line sand line option uh -huh. on the boom. You're running that sand line bailing, flip that switch, you're running oil cooler all day. Uh, how, how the heck did you find an engine that's that's not, uh, that doesn't require death? Falls underneath, uh, I believe it's 50 or 60 ho 50 horse 50 so horse falls under 50 horse you fall under that no emission that is fantastic okay and that's that's even for california this is going to california this is going yep. to california so yeah we're, saw that. we're following the guidelines well thank you so much appreciate it